slow. I'm paying $80 a month for slow internet and I'm not real happy with it. I'm not real happy with AT&T right now. I think this is a new year and I think I need to make some changes. But anyway, all right. Well, good morning, Coffee Treasures family. I am uh, videoing again uh, for YouTube. I'll just upload it. So I have a fancy coffee this morning. You see my whipped cream? It's like mocha peppermint with whipped cream on top. Yummy yums. Anyway, I hope you have a yummies coffee too. I put hot chocolate mix, but it has coffee from this morning too, so it's kind of a hot chocolate coffee. Alright, I gotta try to move that from... Okay, that's a little bit better. It's not in my screen as much. Alright, well good morning. Um, today we are going to do again what we have been doing every day. Today is the 8th of January, Saturday. Jesus Always with Sarah Young. And again, I want to give one of these away. I keep putting my email address in. I'm actually checking my email and actually going in and deleting email that I don't need. So, um, yeah, so maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can keep my email cleaned out because I have 50,000 emails that I haven't opened. So maybe this year could be the year that I get all my email cleaned out. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Anyway, um, let us pray. I hope you had an awesome night's sleep. I want to share with you some things that God shared with me this morning. Because this is a time that I want to share. I want to share what God is sharing with me. But first of all, let's pray. God, we just come to you and we just thank you. And we just pray that you would open our minds and our hearts to what you want to teach us today through your word. Through what Sarah Young, what you poured into Sarah Young is our messenger in this book, God. But above all, she points everything back to Jesus and she points everything back to your word, God. So just um, be with us this morning as we do this Bible study time. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm so sorry. I'm losing my voice. So this is my cup. Life is beautiful. I love this cup. I actually bought this cup to do a Bible study that I am probably going to do on here called uh, Beautiful Inside and Out by I don't remember who, but uh, the book is in my car. Anyway, I'm going to do it this year. This is the year. Yeah. This is the year. This is the year that I'm going to do that. People need that message. They need to know that God made them beautiful inside and out that he sees them as beautiful. We are his awesome treasures, and that is why I named this awesome treasures, because God sees us as his awesome treasure. God's word is our awesome treasure. Jesus is our awesome treasure that gave us a free gift of salvation. Okay, well, my name is Charm. I do not introduce myself every time, and I'm so sorry. This is my ministry called Awesome Treasures Ministry. I have it on Facebook. I do it on YouTube and soon to do it on Gab and maybe some other platforms. Once I figure out I really want to do everything live so I can be done. So I'm not having to upload videos. So once I figure all that out then yeah that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to make any money. I don't want to be famous. I just want to share God's truths and the gospel of Jesus. Because without Jesus, there is no salvation. There is no godly kingdom. Okay, so in me you can discover joy inexpressible and full of glory. You will not find this kind of pleasure anywhere else. It is available only in your relationship with me. So trust me, beloved, and walk confidently along your life path. Hmm. 
One of my words this year is Godfidence, not in my confidence, but in my confidence in God. So that's kind of a confirmation for me. As we journey together, you will encounter many obstacles, some of which are quite painful. Expect these difficulties each day and don't let them throw you off course. Refuse to let adversity keep you from enjoying me. In my presence, deep sorrow can coexist with even deeper joy. Your life with me is an adventure, and there are always some dangers involved in adventurous journeys. Ask me to give you courage so that you can face your troubles boldly. Keep your hope fully fastened on me and on the heavenly reward that awaits you. Your joy will expand astronomically beyond anything you could possibly imagine when you reach your eternal home there you will see me face to face and your joy will know no bounds amen <clears throat> well that kind of goes into what God shared with me this morning but let's go ahead and look the scripture up and uh, then I'll share with you what God shared with me this morning <clears throat> when I share these things with my husband, he just looks at me like I'm crazy, but, you know, I can't help it. Um, God shares things with me so that I will share them with others, and I'm going to be obedient, and if people think I'm crazy, I don't really care. I'm not standing before them when all this is over. I'm going to be standing before God, and you will be too. So... There's a, there's a peace that comes with being older. You just get to the point you really don't care what people think. You are living for God. Okay, 1 Corinthians 13, 12. Okay. I even have it highlighted in my Bible. So, sometime I was studying this, and I had it highlighted my problem with highlighting is I think every word in here is important. So if I highlighted everything, every word in here would be highlighted. But for some reason I highlighted this. For now we see through a glass darkly and then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. So someday we are going to see Jesus face to face. And someday we are going to be in that spiritual body that is going to know all the questions that we have today. I don't think that we are going to be standing in line going up to Jesus and asking him questions. I think like this, everything's going to be clear. And we're going to know once we enter into that spiritual body, we're going to know, and things that bothered us here, I think we will not even care about. I just don't, especially the worldly things here, like slower internet, the things that aggravate us, I think are not going to matter when we get to heaven. We're just going to be so blown away by what we see and what we experience. It's just, it's going to be nothing, like nothing. Okay, well, let's move on to 2 Corinthians 6.10. And I so look forward to that moment. But I know that we are here for a purpose now. And there are many generations that were called to this time. I feel like I was called to this time. Because maybe I'm older and I don't care what people think. I am just going to share God's truths and I'm going to share the gospel of Jesus. And I really don't care what people think. I'm not here to serve other people. I'm here to serve God and to be obedient to Him. As sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. So I'm, I think I'm going to read more of that. And get it into context. I'm going to read 1 through 10. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, 
and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Okay, I feel that so, so strongly that people are going to miss heaven because they think they can wait and there may or may not be time. So that is very important. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Okay, well that makes much more sense going through there and reading all of that. You know, because salvation will get us through all these things that he's talking about, the good and the bad. Salvation through Jesus will carry us through those things. So that makes so much more sense. You know, sometimes I have to read more than just one verse to get the context. <clears throat> okay, First Peter is where we are going now. First Peter 1 8 says this, Whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not, Yet believing, you rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. So we are going to see Jesus face to face someday. I have, as you get older, you have many friends and many family members that are already there. And they are seeing the face of Jesus. They are seeing this beautiful place called heaven that is perfect in every way. We have beauty here on earth. We have the creation. Uh, we see God's beautiful creation every day, but it is not even going to compare to what we see and experience in heaven. Now, I'm not saying that you just sit and you just wait until Jesus comes. No, there is lots, lots, lots that we can do. I have no corner on this, on what I do. I share a song to Facebook every day, nearly. I'm not consistent all the time. I'm going to try to be better. And I do this. Now I started a new thing. God said, behold, I do a new thing. This is my new thing in the mornings. Doing coffee treasures. Uh, sharing this. I did not write this. I want to say again, this is not mine. This is Jesus Always by Sarah Young. My very favorite devotional that I have ever read in my whole entire life. I plan to read it every day until Jesus comes or until I die. Maybe on my deathbed, somebody will be reading it to me, but I want to delve into this every day. And I hope you do too. And I still have free ones of these that I'm willing to mail to your house free of charge. Just get, just email me. Email me and I will send you one. Okay, well, it is the salvation time of my share, because I like to do that, too. And I'm just going to use the one that I made. This is the one that God created through me, gave me the picture, told me what to say, I guess through the Holy Spirit. But first, I want to share with you what... This goes with what I'm fixing to share with you. Okay, so this morning, woke up at 2.59, woke up at 3.59, woke up at maybe 4.59, I don't know, but it was on the 59 mark. Every time it was on the 59 mark. 
And so I asked God, I go, what does that mean? You know, and he goes, you're one minute from glory. And I go, well, what does that mean? And so I'm taking that it means we have no guarantees of life. I may be here today. I may not be here tomorrow. Um, I may be here 30 minutes from now. I may not be here at all. Jesus may come back within the next minute. We don't know. So we need to live our lives fully. And that doesn't mean go out and do all the sins you want. That means live your life for God. That means store your treasures in heaven. Don't store your treasures here on this earth. That means... If you have an opportunity to go and spend time with your kids or your grandkids, do it. Don't live in fear. Walk in faith. My car is so scary right now to drive. But I've been driving it around. I probably won't drive it to church, though, tomorrow, because yesterday, like, 30 was the maximum that I could drive. It has a... CV joint is going out and it's got to be fixed and I don't have a mechanic friend that I can just take it to. I think I need to make a friend that's a mechanic. I think that would be a great asset in life. And so I have to wait until Tuesday of next week to get my car in the shop. <clears throat> so that's a bit of a pain. But it's okay. It's okay because God has a plan in that. God knows that I am not going to sell it to somebody like that. And I am not going to, um, I'm just not, I'm just not going to saddle someone with that problem. So anyway, live your life to the fullest for God. If God calls you to do something like what I'm doing, do it. Because there are blessings in being obedient. Blessings that you just... It's like, yeah, that's way beyond what I was expecting. But we're not really doing it for the blessings. We're doing it because we love others and we want to help others. It is a wake-up time. There is a shaking time going on with God's children. He is shaking our country and He is shaking the world. He is trying to wake people up. He goes, wake up. You are running out of time. It is time. Right now, right this second, is the time of salvation. We just read that. Today is the day of salvation. Well, really, right this second. Because time is running out. And I know people go, well, Jesus is not going to come. We really don't know. Not even Jesus knows when he's going to come. But let's, let's do this. Let's do this salvation. This is God's invitation to his heaven because heaven belongs to God. He created it. He created it for us. He created it for his angels. He created it for Jesus, to, for his kingdom to reign there. He created it for the Holy Spirit moves to and fro there. It is his. It belongs to him. Excuse me, but my hair is like that's morning here in my hair I just threw it in a ponytail this is like my weekend her do okay it's not about me God's invitation into his heaven have you ever been invited you know many people don't even know who Jesus is and have really never been invited into the kingdom so let me invite you I cannot save you but Jesus can I know who the way, the true and the truth and the life is. I have experienced the love of Jesus, the guiding of Jesus. Jesus has met me in the valley more times than I can count. When I had absolutely nothing and I was totally broken. He will do the same for you. So repent in turn. It says the time is now. To respond to his invitation. No. Repent and turn to the one true God. So here are the verses that go with salvation. As it is written, there is none righteous, no not one. Romans 
For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Romans 6.23 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. John 14, 6. That if thou shalt confess thy mouth with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Every time I say that, I think of David Humphrey. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. So his heaven is our reward. And John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. You can see it very clearly over my left. You can't on Facebook, but maybe I can adjust that somehow today. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is the prayer. If you would like to say this prayer and receive Jesus as your Savior, salvation only comes through Jesus. Or if you have strayed away, because many of us do stray away, then repent of your sins and be reconciled to Jesus. You know, either one, but I'm going to do this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that you are God's one and only Son that came to teach, heal, love, and forgive. You died on the cross for all sinners. You rose from the tomb on the third day. You ascended into heaven. And you will come back to usher your church into heaven. I confess you as my Savior, inviting you into my heart to live and reign forever. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Please give me the strength to withstand the temptations in my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer and invited Jesus in, receive salvation through Jesus, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Um, the angels are rejoicing, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now sanctified. You're now saved, sanctified, wait a minute, <laughs> saved, sealed, and sanctified through God, with God, through Jesus, His only Son. If you want to draw closer to God every day, then read His Word, pray and praise. Seek a church. Ask God to send you to a church so you can follow in baptism just like Jesus did. And you will have a church family that you can grow spiritually with too. In Bible study, in worship, in service in your community. There is just nothing like it. When you do find yourself in the valley, you have prayer warriors that will surround you and pray for you. 
So I hope those things for you. So let me pray. God, we just thank you for this time that we can open your word, God. I just pray for anyone that comes here, God, if they need salvation, please draw them to salvation through Jesus. And if they need reconciliation, if they need to return to you, please draw them back to you. God, I just pray that you would give us the boldness today to go out and share your truth and share the gospel of Jesus. That you would help us to remember that we are one minute away from glory, either by death or by Jesus coming back to get us. <clears throat> and I pray that you will help me to write that lesson. I feel like there is a lesson in there that you would allow the Holy Spirit to lead me where I need to go to write a lesson about that. God, we just thank you for all the many things that you do for us. We thank you that you are holy, that you are set apart, God. That you are looking out for us and you know what's best for us even when we don't, yeah. that you are Jehovah Jireh, and you are enough, forever enough, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, well, have an awesome rest of your day, and I will be here tonight at 5 p.m. to do Awesome Treasures Ministry Pray and Share, where I am sharing my Passion 22 experience until I finish it. Then I'm going to start back on diving into Psalms, which I think is really good. Not sure what the study is going to be next. Just going to let the Holy Spirit guide me there. But, um, do make you some fancy coffees this year. Do spend time, more time in the Word. And do pray and praise. I want to spend this year doing more praise. Not even with music, just for my heart. Just more praise to God. I did that last night. Computer, all the internet was off. I just went in the kitchen and did my dishes and I just praised. And then the internet came back on and that was just a distraction. But I want to praise more. I want to praise more. I want to live in the moment. I am one minute away from glory, either through death or the rapture. Remember that and live your life according. So give your family a hug and tell them that you love them today. And I'll see you tonight.